when a whitewater raft capsizes in a dangerous current, one technique can be a lifesaver. Go, 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 go. These swift water rescue students are conducting a raft flipping scenario on the Colorado River near Moab, Utah. Many of these students are professional whitewater rafting guides who are completing their mandatory Swiftwater Rescue certification. On this section of the Colorado River, waves can ramp up to 20 feet high, causing even the most experienced raft guides to capsize. All it takes is a hidden boulder or a particularly violent rapid to disrupt the raft's momentum and send its passengers overboard. There's some rivers, it's a daily occurrence, sometimes multiple times a day. It's real important that you can keep yourself safe and, and then safely help out others. This 16-foot raft weighs 180 pounds, so flipping it while it's being tossed around by intense rapids is no easy feat. Training begins when the students evacuate the raft and flip it upside down to simulate an emergency scenario. Students use the T-shaped grip at the end of their paddles to hook the gig line on top of the raft's inflated tubes and pull back to flip the raft. Yay! They use the force supplied by the downstream current of the river as an extra tool in this scenario. The current pushes the raft forward, while the rescuers use the bottom tube as a fulcrum to rotate the raft around as they pull the gig line in the opposite direction. Three or four rescuers then climb on top of the flipped raft. Paddle. And they use the same strategy to flip it upright. Other students tread water at a safe distance from the raft to create a clear space for its land. Get out the way. Hey, remember guys, try to, try to flop on your back more than putting your feet down. Putting your feet straight down in moving water is one of the most dangerous things you can do. Your foot can get stuck in between rocks, and then you've got a second emergency. To get back in the boat, the key is to have your legs out flat behind you. That's the way to get in, not pulling yourself straight up. Pull towards that boat and up at the same time, and it's a pain in the ass. This student attempted climbing in the raft leg first and got tangled in the gig line. Right, boys. Oh, oh, get it. Luckily, his classmates were able to untangle him, but this could have quickly become a real emergency. Rescuers grab any remaining people by their PFD, or personal flotation device, and haul them back on the raft. Occasionally, the current pulls people downstream away from the raft, and they're unable to swim against the current. Right here, guys. Pedal towards me. But you can get separated from your craft very quickly. The river just doesn't stop. It's relentless. After pulling in as many nearby rafters as possible, the team then paddled down to assist this student who had drifted away from the group. One, two, three, go. Hey, here we go. It's a pretty chaotic situation, so we want to just kind of make that a little bit more static and make some of those decisions easier and give, give them somewhat of a format to follow while they're flipping this boat. Give them some things to think about while they're going through that process. For a lot of people that are new to guiding, this is a new experience, and so this kind of gives them a little bit of comfort level um, for when the time does, does come. Good. 